the top six most underrated battle rappers. Welcome to another episode of Read Between the Rhymes. So I compiled this list. Originally I had five, but I wanted to squeeze an extra person in here. Um, I'm sure I can make a list of 20 people, but uh, this is just a personal six that uh, I came up with. So uh, let's get to it. And number one, Big Cannon. Big Cannon is so underrated. He's I've seen him live back in the grind time days in Chicago in the back of a clothing store and even back then he had stage presence he had everything that you would you consider um a top tier battle right? he had all the attributes um he's been running through people on grind time he had uh, classic battles on rbe uh, he got people out of here on url he uh he's one of the top freestylers in the game i mean you cannot doubt that he's he can freestyle he can do re rebuttals with the best of them i mean if you look at the rbe battle he had with sharon i mean they're just going back and forth back and forth with rebuttals and a whole freestyle round i mean it's pretty dope and i know like a few years ago there's a lot of footage of him doing a freestyle with diz outside of a van and, you know he was he was going off and even his mixtape stuff he's he's pretty dope on there too on with him uh, doing so much in the game and and doing his his league guerrilla warfare with Miss Gracie. I mean, he's just very underrated, and he's one of the people that need to get their flowers. And I hope he, uh, I I know he took a took a a quick brief retirement. He's back back now, but um, yeah, we need to see more plates from him, whether it's on a KOTD URL or RBE. Next person, Fresco. So Fresco, I've seen him live too uh, back in the day in grind time in Chicago. And before he joined the group in Innuendo with QP and them, I mean he was he was uh, unique and he was different. He he had good lines. I mean when you listen to certain battle rappers, you're just like, man, they could have put that that line better or put that verse better than what the final product was. So, but when you when you listen to Fresco, you you get a sense that you know he wrote that as perfect it, it could be. You know, you can't think of no other way you should say this particular line like he does it. I mean, he he checks all the boxes as uh Royce would say. Some of the last battles I've seen from him was versus i think roan or uh thesaurus or something like that from years back i'm not sure if he's dropped anything new he's kind of like in and out even with the with the small sample size he is i'm gonna go out of limb and say he is one of the top punch liners in the game like when you listen to him it's like you can hear like big k saying those lines uh, or even better than what big k would because you, when you think of big k you know he's punching back to back to back you know, when you hear some of these other rappers, they punch in. But I mean, just check out him versus uh, QP, Fresco versus QP, Q, uh, Fresco versus Thesaurus. And when you watch it, you're just like, dang, he is like punching this person's head off. And it, he is going wild, even though he's super emo about it, his emo style. I mean, he's super dope. He never chokes. He always brings it even from back in the day, uh, bat Battle of the Bay days and uh, grind time battles with like Kid Twitch and all them so I mean, you gotta check him out he's pretty dope next person on my list danger zone danger zone danger zone danger zone danger zone is just one of those people that doesn't get enough credit for the type of raps that he puts together he's one of the the top writers in the game he's had a classic 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 battle with danny myers on url back in the day yeah, I've definitely got to check that out. He's had bodies on his resume. Shout out to Ladaze. He is very underrated and he should get more plates. Very unique in the way he writes and his, his the way his style is. There's certain battles where you're just like, man, I wish he would have. It's a little too close for comfort, like him versus O-Red. I believe he went against O-Red. He got O-Red out of here because O-Red choked, but it's almost like he didn't 
body body him the way he should have like if O-Red would have would have came with just regular just his regular raps then I feel like it would be a debatable uh, him versus chaos I feel like that one's a little too close for comfort too plus chaos wrapped a little bit longer a lot of people will edge that one to, to chaos give give him his flowers because he uh was the champion of the year at one point and he made one of the first people to make an opponent quit the most recently i mean you can say is <laughs> real sick did that to danny myers but he has one of the biggest body bags you know uh, where a person actually thrown in a towel so you gotta give that to him so yeah danger zone is my number three number four saint mike saint mike is dope dope rapper he's one of those rap rap battle rappers he got anubis out of here i remember watching that back in the day he had a a good battle versus a ward when a ward first came out started getting his name up he's had a really really good rewatchable battle with danny myers you have to check that one out i would like to see him see him more i know he's uh He's done some battles recently with RBE, but I need to see him like a uh, KOTD more um, consistently. He's very dope. I don't want him to not not get any place or not see him at all. Number five, Scotty. Scotty is one of those unique battle rappers. You know, they just like Fresco, he says everything right where this is the most perfect you can say it in his own style. He runs his own league in Houston Barcode. Shout out to Houston Barcode. I always go to their events. He's in the seasons tournament with on KOTD. He's had a, uh, a debatable with Loso at Gnome in Houston. Uh, he's been on Gnome. That's, I mean, that's pretty big. Does not spit no trash. I mean, everything is is pristine and, and top notch. I just wish that, you know, he would, we would see him a lot more. I would like to see him take more battles on on RBE and uh, URL so he can get a little bit more exposure. Cause I feel like Houston, even though they have a lot of events here in Houston, it needs to be like the forefront person to represent Houston rather than like, hollow the dawn because hollow is kind of like both like queens new york and houston where we would just need like a soul battle rap representing houston all the way and i think scotty's that guy ty law that's my, my last person ty law is very unique unique punchline liner he dope dope battle with him and b magic he was going crazy while and now he had a dope battle uh, on a tournament with uh prez mafia um him and snow uh just he he's just going crazy on on those battle rappers he, he he's he's dope his flow i mean you can tell you can tell by the way he raps like that is all him like he he has a uniqueness in his flow a uniqueness in his punches it's almost like he just slow walks you and then hits you with a crazy haymaker very underrated he we need to see him we definitely need to see him uh and that is my list my top six most underrated battle rappers right now but maybe i might make another another list like a, a part two part three make it make it a series but for right now i just did my top six this is read between the rhymes don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment and at me on twitter peace out